Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's take a look at how we can write a triple integral in um, spherical coordinates, not just cylindrical, but spherical, um, um, especially in a case when it looks really nice. For instance, consider like this ice cream cone type shape, kind of it's part of a sphere, but we're taking out um, kind of a cone at pi force from the Z axis going up and down. Um, and suppose we have a radius of one kind of going up. So rho, which is the distance from, this is a Greek letter rho, um, which is the distance from the origin to the outer part of the surface, is gonna be going from zero to one. Uh, phi is just, it's just this angle here, down from the positive z-axis from, from zero to pi force, and theta all the way around the zero to two pi. So we have nice rectangular type things. Um, a nice a rectangular type of uh, uh, intervals here where these bounds don't depend on each other at all um, in terms of these other variables. So we know we have a conversion factor from uh, dr d theta dz from, um, to dx dy dz and where we picture things in the Cartesian coordinates. It's just r multiplication by r to get to um, what we visualize over here. So to get what we what we need from here, we just simply need to find this conversion factor from this coordinate system to this one, and then just multiply those two together. Um, remember what we do, we take the uh, derivative um, matrix, which is a three by three, three inputs and three outputs, and we take the determinant of it, we just need the absolute value of the determinant, because that gives us um, that conversion factor, just how much this volume is compared to that volume. Um, and so off we are. So we think, remember that this R and the Z kind of are related to rho and phi, the same way that X, Y are related to R theta almost, um, kind of like a polar type conversion, although it's a little bit flip-flopped. Um, and uh, that's because R is like, like out perpendicular to the uh, Z axis. Um, but it's also going to, but R is going to be uh, opposite phi. So we think um, R is going to be rho um, uh, sine phi, or sine phi, and uh, Z is going to be rho cosine phi, kind of the adjacent and versus the opposite here. The theta will just be itself in this conversion, which is kind of nice to do this piecewise, piecemeal like this. So let's take the derivative of all of this with respect to first um, variable here is rho. So with respect to rho, and we end up getting a uh, sine phi uh, zero and cosine phi. Now with respect to theta, we end up just getting zero, one, zero. With respect to phi, we get um, rho cosine phi zero um, negative rho sine phi. And then in taking this, um, okay, and then in taking this determinant, um, we're left with um, um, pretty much, see this one up to, since we're only considering absolute values, it's actually legal to to uh, swap rows and columns a little bit here, but um, but you can basically just think about this outer part for the determinant here in this case, just that times that. It's not always this way, but it is here, at least in this case, it'll be, it, it's very nice, especially since we broke up this, these conversions. So we take, um, okay, so if we take uh, sine, so we have sine phi times, um, uh, this negative rho sine phi, okay. So we end up getting, um, uh, so we get getting negative rho times sine phi squared. This way we get um, minus rho times, um, okay, so, so this way we get minus rho times cosine, uh, cosine phi um, squared. So this is 
quantity squared. Okay, so uh, that's great. So then we end up just getting simply uh, negative rho, but then in this case, remember, just taking absolute values and not worrying about columns and stuff. So we're just going to get rho for this particular conversion factor, which should make a lot of sense since we're kind of thinking um, polar from here to here. We could have even told the RZ versus that. We could have even guessed that um, this would be rho. So really, the conversion factor is R times rho. But we would like the conversion factor to be written completely in terms of rho, theta, and phi. And rho is not really written in terms of that. But we can, we can change that up because we know what r is equal to here. It's rho times sine phi. So we have rho sine phi times rho, which we could rewrite as rho squared sine phi. So the conversion factor is simply rho squared times sine phi, where we're just taking the, the r here and the rho here, multiplying them together, and then rewriting in terms of rho, theta, and phi. And we end up getting this as our conversion factor. OK, so let's actually work through this process here to compute this volume using that conversion factor. OK, so we have our nice conversion factor, rho squared sine phi. And um, it doesn't really matter which order we do these things in here in this particular case, because it's just rectangular um, in nature. These aren't depending on each other. Um, theta was going from 0 to 2 pi, rho was going from 0 to 1, and phi was going from uh, 0 uh, to pi fourths. Okay, so um, this rho squared could potentially come out here uh, and, and sit out there, so because this integral does depend on it, it's just a constant um, to phi. So sine phi, um, take an antiderivative cosine. And cosine from 0 to pi force. Um, so at pi force, it's root 2 over 2. At 0, it's 1. So we get, um, uh, so we get root 2 over 2 minus 1. OK, for that part, um, for this integral. But then it's multiplied by the row squared. Um, then we integrate with respect to rho, so it's going to become a rho cubed over 3, and we're going from 0 to 1, which just lands us at um, a third, root 2 over 2 minus 1. Okay, so that's for the inner portion. Now, respect to theta just amounts to multiplying this whole thing by 2 pi, so it's just a constant being integrated. So, um, and of course you could simplify that, but what we've done is we've just computed the volume of that kind of ice cream cone shape that we had at the beginning. And we did it completely in, um, in uh, spherical coordinates using this conversion factor to get the volume. Thanks for watching.